If there was ever a Sonic game that could be described as the quintessential Sonic game, one with high-speed 2D action, solid platforming challenges, and characters with unique skills and paths through each level, that game would be Sonic Advance. But Sonic Advance wouldn't have even existed if not for all the ground broken by Sonic 3. And Knuckles. Hello, Brett Fiesta here. And welcome to Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, today, we're going to be playing this. <laughs> really, with Sonic, you just got to go straight into the action. And I've been on a huge Sonic kick, so here we go. We're going to do it. Um, unique to Sonic 3, uh, unlike the first two uh, in the trilogy, I suppose, uh, there are save files because this game is significantly longer. Um, I have no idea when this was from. I am playing on the Sonic Mega Collection as I did with Sonic 2. See, look, there it is. Um, so I think how I'm going to do it is let's do a file with just Sonic first. As he is named after the game, so... So we start off with a little bit of cutscene action. Uh, this game takes place right after Sonic 2. So we just destroyed the Death Egg. Now we're cruising along supersonic speed. Um, we get onto this island. And this cool dude in red steals all of our Chaos Emeralds, laughs at us, and then leaves us for dead. So let's get those back. Uh, Sonic 3... Uh, well, it starts us off on Angel Island. Let's start there. Um, Sonic 3 is the game I probably played in the most... Um, forms, I guess. Uh, originally for the Genesis, but we'll get to that in a second because we have our first special stage already. Um, and the special stages in this game uh, are a mini game called uh, Blue Sphere, um, where the objective is to uh, get all of the blue spheres and turn them red. Uh, except if they are in a big um, square like this, if you hit all the exterior ones, then it turns them into rings. And if you get all the rings, you get a perfect, which I think uh, is um, gives you a continue. I don't know. Um, but regardless, uh, it's just another way to 100% the game, and you know I'm a sucker for that. So let's do that, shall we? So yeah, this game uh, was originally for the Genesis, uh, and I was considering actually playing it on the Genesis, but uh, I'm not, I don't think I can record the Genesis. Uh, I have the um, As Seen on TV uh, Genesis emulator thing, I think. Here we go. First Chaos Emerald get. Yeah! Um... But yeah, I had it for the Genesis. I also had it for the PC, which had some cool like MIDI remixes of some of the songs, um, which are probably the more memorable ones for me, because um, I played the PC version so many, so much more than the Genesis one. Um, and I also have it for Mega Collection, which is what I'm playing here. See, look, Mega Collection. Um, and then a bit of. Uh, Whoops. Housekeeping. Uh, probably not going to 100% it on the first playthrough because um, it's. This is not how I like playing this one. Um, Sonic 3 has uh, a few new things. Um, there's an extra life over here if I can get it. Yeah. Um, so unlike the first two games, Sonic actually has a whole new sprite and design. Um, and this is probably the most memorable design for him. For me. Of him for me, is how you would assemble that sentence. Um, so a robot happens and sets fire to the forest, which is bad. Objectively. 
Uh, there are these mini games in here. I don't usually like playing them because um, they are distracting and I'm not particularly good at them. Uh, but it's an opportunity to get rings and uh, other power ups. Such as that bubble, which is not a power up, but. Um, this one has a time limit because there's a barrier at the bottom of the level that uh, will get you at some point. I've never actually gotten this far in this minigame, so I'm uh, enjoying myself. Uh oh. The tricky part about this one also is that. Um, uh oh. Yeah, there's the barrier. It is that you have to not only hit to activate the power up, but you actually have to collect it afterwards, so it is a pain in the, the butt. No coherent storyline here on Sonic 3 because we have another special stage. Or coherent commentary, I guess. Uh, the special stages um, can get very difficult. Uh, there is a total. Never mind. Um, as we saw in that opening cutscene, there's seven cast emeralds, so there are at least seven special stages, and that is enough to be a spoiler, but just don't listen to me. Except do listen to me, because that's the point of doing Let's Play commentary. Uh, uh, I've made mistakes. This one... You have to be trick, uh, not tricky, but careful not to get one of these, um, these groups that you can turn into rings as the last. If you're going for a perfect, um, you don't want to get one of those groups as your last kind of set, because then they'll turn into rings and you'll end the special stage. So you want to find something like that to be your last set. Um, so I'll have to remember where that's at. starts moving real fast and it's stress times 10. Okay, I think that last... I don't know why it made the uh, ring lose noise um, when I got 100 rings. That was not the correct noise to be made. I think this is it. Oh gosh! Okay. We did that all wrong, but that's fine. I got all... I panicked. This is the Let's Player's curse. You get all panicky. Am I recording to go in? Yeah. Great. So you get tangentially a continue if you get it perfect, because 50,000... You also get an extra life, because... Uh, because these are games with scores, and that's how it works. Also, the music changes because of uh, um, technically a glitch, I guess. Um, this is the music. Another new thing about this game is that there's different music for acts one and two. There are only two acts per level because three is excessive. Um, that's a memorable enemy, Caterpillar Jr. Um, as I recall, there's another special stage down here. Um, I don't usually go for it because it um, is underwater and I don't like being underwater. I think I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. There's a loud noise. Um, but everything is probably fine. Ah! Uh, another mechanic that we have yet to introduce. So up here. So rather than just the blue shield from the last game, uh, we have elemental shields in this game. Um, so this one is the magnet shield. Uh, which gives Sonic actually a double jump. So you saw earlier he had that like uh, Sonic Flash move. Um, I should have gotten the Fire Shield actually. Except now that I de oh okay, the bridges came back. Gotta be careful here not to lose my rings. Um, so normally he has the Sonic Spin uh, Flash Dash thing. Um, with the lightning shield, he gets double jump. With the fire shield, he gets a, um, 
a forward attack. Um, and the fire shield actually prevents him from being damaged by fire, which is good because this enemy uses fire. Every Act 1 has a mini-boss, and that's a new thing to this game. So many new things in this game. This is... Um, I kind of want to take back my intro about Sonic Advance being the quintessential game, because Sonic 3 had so many... It just had so many good things about it that were never really carried on to later games. Um, the idea of like different shields was only used, I think, in... Uh, I mean, obviously in modern games we have the magnet shield still, but I shouldn't have gone into that special stage because I'm going to lose my shield, but, you know. Obviously you know, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have just cut myself off there. I mean, the special stages aren't too hard if you're, like, careful. You know, just stay calm, cool, collected. Normally, I would be, because my blood pla my blood pressure, rather, blood pressure is not a thing. Um, my blood pressure is low, so though I can get angry at video games, so eh, probably means nothing. But now you know of. Uh, a thing about me. This one is a linear one, if I recall. I mean, you can tell right here. And this is one where you gotta be careful not to get the last uh, group of... Like, the last group of blue spheres you'll see is... Uh, um, is a set that turns into rings. So, I'm gonna skip that one and that one. And that one. I skipped too many because I was nervous. Um, and wow, we made a challenge for ourselves because now we have to hit and jump. Hit and jump. And this one's fine. Somebody turned on the laundry machine. I don't appreciate that because it's right on the other side of my wall and I also need to do laundry later today. And I hope it does not pick up on recording because that would be annoying. It's so loud. This is obnoxious. <sighs> I'm obnoxious, so it's fine. Whatever. Three out of seven. It's probable that you can get all seven on the first zone, but I did not do the same level of research that I did for, uh, for um, Sonic 2. There's an extra life down here. Um... This I didn't have to research, this I just know because um, I've played this game 400,000 times. That's probably not an overestimation, to be honest. Like, um, I have played this game a significant amount. Um, it is. There's a switch around here. This laundry machine, we're supposed to be getting new laundry machines on the 17th, um, which is not today. Today is the 8th, which is actually my anniversary of putting uh, game videos on the YouTube. Down here is... Here's the thing. Um, so the shield we have right now, which I failed to explain, is the water shield, and it gives us a bounding attack. Um, and it also lets us breathe underwater, which is important, because uh, it's wet underwater, and um, I've never really taken this path, actually, so uh, I saw there was an extra life down there, but it's not worth the risk. The water shield is far more important. The special stage is over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I remember this game. My brain works. But yeah, I've been on this uh, Sonic kick lately. Um, 
I just beat uh, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for the GameCube. Um, not quite 100%, but between the two files that I have, it would be 100%. Um, I don't know why I made an early turn there, but... So I have one old file from a long time ago where I got all the emblems, and then I just uh, got all the... Uh, the what's what's it called um missions uh including the awful snowboarding ones um which oh gosh those took me four uh, okay if you hit a bouncy thing it makes you go backwards which is uh stress.com because you might accidentally bounce yourself uh Oh gosh, like that. I'm not starting over. If it was the first special stage, I would have been horribly embarrassed and started over, which may or may not have actually happened. Um, but uh, you'll get more opportunities. And because you have save files, you can just you know load up the save file and go back to Angel Island and uh, do it again. From the er from the easy to get, uh, um, you know, special stage rings. Great, that was real nice. Um, I made this comment in a previous project, but Sonic, um, when there's like a trilogy, there's usually um, uh kind of a theme, I guess, about it. Um, the first game will be real solid platforming. The second game will be all about going fast. And the third game will be uh, kind of a balance of the two. Uh, we need to get that fire shield up there. It's a fire shield, and just trust me on that. Um, I kind of... Because I, I want to get to 100. Of course, it's going to make me do this awful one, though. See if we can get like a decent power up. No, actually, we don't want a power up because I want the fire shield for this. Though that would have been the fire shield. This is perfect. This is good. I got 100 rings. I am satisfied. This is one of those like memorable scenes uh, for nostalgic Sonic players, which is all of them. Um, was being chased by this uh, this airship just dropping bombs all in the forest like this shows really how intimidating uh, Robotnik can be um, plus it's very cutscene esque you have to hold right otherwise the bombs will hit you Except they won't affect you if you have the fire shield, so... It was a risk worth taking. So, like always, uh, Robotnik will uh, come to directly uh, attack us here. But with the fire shield, this boss becomes very easy. Eight hits and he's done. And also unique is the capsules are flying in this game.